Okay, this run steals a strat that is really cool that I saw from Super Auto Gaming. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you should definitely check it out. It's more Super Auto Pets content, and he uploads even more frequently than me. A lot of cool builds, and one of them was this Tiger Panda strat. So originally, I mean, I actually made a Tiger Panda strat a long time ago, but I didn't actually think about how the panda faints, and then the tiger will be behind another unit. So you can take advantage of that by going like Tiger, Panda, and then like Octo, as I do in this run. So after the Panda gets the Tiger uh, buff and everything, then you just have Tiger Octo left. And that's just genius. It's so smart. I can't believe I've never seen this before, and it's really cool to see like new ideas popping up. And so that's what I'm going for in this run, of course. Which means uh, Panda's a tier 2, and of course I usually... Did I just say of course like two times in a row? I don't know. But I normally go for three drops because I feel like tier threes are just significantly stronger than tier twos. But in this case, I'm going for the panda, so not really caring too much about that. I wanted to put iguana in front there because uh, its stats would be evened out a bit by the moth. But it didn't actually matter there. So yeah, we're going for this panda. We're trying to scale it as much as possible. Blobfish pill is perfect. Panda is one of those units where it's pretty bad at level 1 because, I mean, you're having its stats that it's giving. The, uh, the, what is it called? Whatever the 5-2 unit is. Pug, that's what it is. Okay, just randomly forgot for like half a second. But yeah, the Pug will make sure it gets to level 2. Has higher attack, so it goes first. But yeah, and then at level 2, it's just giving its stats to the unit in front. So it's kind of like, I don't know what the purpose of that would be. I guess, like, if you can get a early scaling Panda, then it's an advantage. But the real advantage is when you get it to level 3, because then it starts giving 150% of its stats to the unit in front, which means if you've been scaling it, then suddenly you get 50% extra stats just out of nowhere, and it's actually pretty cool. Um, it's also a great way to just pivot into like a good tier 6 or tier 5 with it a good ability, and then you instantly have a very strong tier 6. It's kind of similar to like Tamarin, but a bit worse, I have to say. I think Tamarin is... Um, I don't know, it just doesn't take up one spot on your team. You're kind of running like a four squad when you're running Panda, which isn't too big of a deal. And Tamarin, of course, is a tier three. I have to stop saying of course, and Panda is a tier two, so I guess there's that difference. Another Blobfish pill, it is some scaling, plus two, plus two. And then just finish on Owl, sell that. Right now I'm uh, Pandaing this Hawk, so the Hawk's gonna hopefully like pop Melon or kill whatever is weak in front. And then it'll have a whole bunch of stats. It's already 16, 22, 17. And it solos their entire team there. Love to see it. This giraffe scaling's coming in clutch. And then I find a penguin. So penguin and giraffe scaling, why not? Thinking about if I should sell something first, decide. I don't think so. And also, I figured the giraffe would be the next thing to go. So don't actually need to keep it around. Um, then I see Can and also Penguin, just as I go for Penguin, but Can will be helpful in the future because, you know, it's just really good, and I plan on pivoting a lot of this team. So I need one more level up for the Panda, but ideally I wait till turn 9, that way I can get a tier 6. Those are the highest tier units in the game. I wonder what would happen if they added like a tier 7 into the game. They would probably have to increase like the stat cap, right? Otherwise it wouldn't really make sense. Maybe they just have absolutely insane abilities. Like, is that possible? Would it actually break the game if they introduced a new tier of pets? I assume that they'll never change, like, the stat cap stuff or add another tier of pets. It would be very strange. I guess you wouldn't really get to unlock them too frequently in Arena. Uh, well, okay. No, you get to around 13. If it was unlocked at around 13, it wouldn't be that difficult. I don't know. Maybe there'd be some cool ideas with it, though. Alright, there we go, perfect. So, get the early tier 6, and it's a leopard, which is amazing. Because right now, they have the same attack, but the penguin and the panda buff is going to come in clutch. And it will go first, and then the leopard will go second. So we'll have a super beefy leopard that's going to probably destroy something on the opponent's team. And hopefully it's actually useful. I have this turtle frozen and this blobfish frozen. Probably not a great idea to have both, but like one or the other is usually good, just in case you run into pill. Like the value of finding one of these, like getting melon or getting a level up is so high that I usually just bother freezing one of them. It's 20% of the shop space, but usually I still think it's kind of worth it. All right, so going for level two leopard, double the damage. 
and pretty soon it's going to be 50-50, getting plus 2, plus 2 a turn, but in reality that's like plus 3, plus 3 a turn because of the extra little panda buff. Keep rolling for those uh, pills, never saw it, unlucky, but you know, it's turn 9 and 10, sometimes that happens. I was thinking, do I need a cow? Actually, I don't think I actually need a cow. Uh, it's pretty close to 50-50 already. And also the tiger panda just means that it's going to give even more stats. So actually, I just did not even need to scale it that much. I kind of overscaled it. But I guess, you know, better over than under. Killed their parrots. That is a lot of deer on their team, though. And surprisingly, it's a draw. So a whole bunch of deer actually managed to beat my one big leopard team. There's the tiger. Love to see it. Chocolate get alpaca so that's pretty interesting as well what i'm looking for is levels so i will definitely be taking that but it's only level one alpaca decide to sell the moth keep the scaler even though i don't really need it and roll for okay got penguin got leopard um i do need a, a flex spot so penguin would be the next thing to go but for now i'll take the additional little stats and this should be 50 50 easy with the tiger panda, especially once I get like level two tiger, that'd be so many stats. I mean, it's pretty much already 50-50 even without the tiger. And so did it actually work? And the answer is no. Unfortunately, tiger panda leopard does not work. As you can see here, I slowed it down to see how many shots and it only shoots twice. So the tiger did not actually activate. I was a little bit disappointed, but um, I guess that's fair. This would be a pretty broken strat. So not really too much of a point in leveling up the leopard when once I realized this, I was like, okay, well, it's time to pivot into a different tier six. And would you look at that? Just happened to find a octo. Unfortunately, it replaced my one up there, which would have been pretty good because I could have just had tiger one up uh, octo still good, even though they did patch out the bug where it summons two things. It's still going to be another tiger octo shot, which is just a whole bunch of damage. And as you can see, cleaning out the opponent's team there, even though it was really beefy. There's level 3 Leopard, um, I guess level 2 Tiger, and level 2 Octo. What a turn! Oh my god. Instantly get all the tier 6s I was hoping for. Um, I could probably just chicken leg the Leopard at this point, since I don't have the Tiger, uh, or the yeah Panda buff going to it anymore. But easy 50-50 Octo gets these tiger octo shots off and just deals so much damage it's dealing um six damage twice twice so you can do the math on that one and then going for level three octo i was wondering maybe i should throw here i have enough lives just to get the level three octo for like the f thumbnail because it's so unsatisfying to have it at level two and two thirds but my god like just absolute destruction of that person's team and look, I got the achievement. That's a nice little addition to see that little pop-up. I don't know how I never had the level 3 panda achievement before. The ribbon, at least. I think I did, and it kind of reset it for some reason. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Actually, one more note. I will probably be playing in a tournament today, the day that this is uploaded. So you can check me out on Twitch if you want. All right, see ya.